Hello and welcome to War TV. I'm Anastasia Tabanos. North America's largest ISP and WISP conference, ISPCon, just wrapped up its 2006 spring show last week. And we have the show organizer, John Price, here in studio with us today to fill us in on how he thought the show turned out. Hi, John. Thanks for joining us again. Thank you. So, this is the third show War TV's been to, and each one is getting bigger and better, it seems. So, how do you think it turned out? It was good. It's really interesting. Uh, you know, we, we focused a lot this time on uh, the kinds of companies that are attending, really, uh, you know, increasing the quality of the attendance as far as uh, the bringing the, the theme of the event this week is success stories. Uh, and so what we focused on a lot of, uh, uh, of our efforts were going after the top 50 or so in every, this, every single one of the segments that we target. So. We went out after different people that are more or less the, 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 the leaders that are the success stories in the industry to kind of pull those people in. So that, to me, has been really one of the great things that, that uh, we've seen a as the basis for us to make our statement of, well, was this, this week a success for us? Uh, and I think we did a fair job of that. Uh, it's been a pretty good week in, in that respect. Why success stories? Why is that the theme this time? A lot of times in the context of learning how to do things, you'll have a different session where someone will come in and they'll talk about, you know, here's a technology and this is why you should be implementing it and this is what it's all about and this is the technology, this is the technology. Well, how are you successful with it? You know, that's really what matters. Uh, that, that's what matters to the attendee of, of an event like this is how are you making money with it? You know, what's, what's it doing, what's the impact on your business? So. You know, in a lot of ways, that you know, it's not just what what my company does. It's how we became sex, successful and how we uh, have achieved these kinds of margins and so on with this technology. Right. Uh, so it, it seemed a, a great framework for us to build the conference around, actually, uh, which is you know, instead of just talking about the technology, how are you successful with it? What are you doing with it that's really making you a lot of money? And talk about that specifically. Show me the spreadsheet kind of stuff. To me, it just sounds like something a lot of attendees should be excited about then. It's giving them useful tips on how to be successful as well. I'm curious as to what kind of feedback you've gotten from attendees. It's been great. I mean, I, I sat in a session last night that ran a good you know, five or six hours just, uh, just sort of talking about all kinds of different things that people are doing. and, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of great feedback and positive things. You know, it's 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 it, it's a gauge of the level of engagement that you get from attendees when they're talking more passionately about the subject matter right. uh, within a conference session. So they, if they walk out of that in the hallway, and the, or even in the session last night, there were people you know yelling at each other. That's cool. You know, a, a class was broken, so the party it was a good party. You know, that that's what you want. You want that kind of you know the, the fist pounding and and people really caring it. a lot about what's going on. So. Yeah. That's, that's really important. That, to me, is, you know, we've done our job in right. that respect, so. Is there anything that could have gone differently with the show, in your opinion? You never really know what's going to happen until you get here. Mm -hmm. uh, and as with any event, you know, you, it's, it's that perception of what it is from the outside coming in in advance, and then, you know, the experience once you're there is a totally different thing. And everyone has different expectations coming in and walks away with something different, too. And, mm -hmm. and, and the Internet industry itself, as far as services go, is such a broad spectrum that, Everyone has so many different needs and so many different expectations that you know you never really know until afterwards uh, whether it was impactful or not. And I think overall, just walking around talking to people, you know, you get that sense that hey, this has been great. I walked away with you know, you know, a couple of really great ideas. And you know, the session that we did last night actually, that all we did was you 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 get what you give, and so you bring an idea. And you walk away with an idea, you know. Mm -hmm. So every we went around the room basically, and, and someone would say, "Hey, what's something that, that you did last year, or you're you're working on this year that's been really successful?" Mm -hmm. um, and then what's one of your biggest pain points that you're dealing with? And this is a room of 70 different providers mm -hmm. that are all dealing with this, you know, different things from different markets. And it's great because the guy across the uh, across the room has solved that problem for right. that person. Uh, so that's a really great. I find it interesting that so many of these executive guys are so willing to be so candid about their experiences and, and how, it takes you know. A, it takes a few beers. <laughs> it does. You know, we try to keep that, uh, keep that flowing. And, and I think by the end of the week, uh, you get a, a degree, uh, you get a comfort level mm -hmm. 
you know, I think this, a lot of times the smaller you are, the more concerned you are about sort of protecting, you know, what's right here. Mm -hmm. And then the more th what you begin to see is that the more successful providers that are out there uh, aren't necessarily the entirely, you know, proprietary everything, don't tell anyone anything about anything that's going on, you know. People, uh, people that will come out and talk, maybe they're doing something proprietary, but they're not afraid to, to come tell everybody what they did. Were there any sessions or keynotes that you thought were particularly well received that you would like to share your thoughts on? It's always tough to pick the right topics when you have a broad number of uh, uh, needs to serve. You know, when you talk about the inter internet industry as a whole, there's people that really care a lot about hosting, people that really care about VoIP. So, or whatever the subject is. So, uh, it's tough to pick those keynotes, but I, one thing that was really interesting, you know, the first thing we had, it was a municipal, uh, it, it was taught from Earthlink and Motorola came in. So, it's kind of had that flavor of the municipalities and the wireless type things, and can I be a reseller and so on. And, and they didn't really talk about it until just leading up into uh, the talk, actually, uh, a couple of days before we found, or actually the day of, we found out that they were going to talk about this partner program that they have where you know, they are going to begin to, you know, as they go into these municipalities, they're going to begin to offer uh, a partner program where, you know, people can resell their networks or they'll partner with the WISP that's already, the local WISP in that area that has poll rights and so on. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, you know, they're beginning to talk about it. It's not entirely baked yet. I think they're still developing everything. But that was a really interesting announcement that came out of that session. Um, and, you know, it's an important trend to keep an eye on because it's, you know, uh, a big threat. It's a big uh, opportunity for some. It just depends on, you know, your approach to the thing. Now, I'm going to bring it back to hosting for a minute. Every time we come to ISPCon, web hosts seem to have a larger presence. Have you been making more of an effort to bring more web hosts to ISPCon? From, the, from the, the aspect of what we focus on, it's really gauging, you know, what we, we spend 90% of our time, if not 100, talking to the people that attend the show, what they're dealing with, what their objectives are beforehand, and, and you know, where they're headed with their uh, business itself and what's going to keep them going. So if they're saying, you know, I'm really looking at exchange, I'm really looking at VoIP, you know, we're looking at asterisk. Wow, you know, there's this so and so that's uh, doing this, and I'd like to learn more about it. Mm -hmm. Then we better be doing a session about that. Right. And if we do our job with that thing, uh, uh, you know, covering those kinds of things, their business will grow, the show will grow along with it, and we'll continue to, to still have a business ourselves. Now, the focus of ISPCon seems to depend on where the industry is going, and like I said before, Web hosts are getting more and more involved with this show. So my question is, eventually, what's the future of ISPCon? Are you going to make it more of a predominantly web hosting type of event? In which case, how would you compare it to hosting con that's completely devoted to web hosting? Anything in, in the, the events business or media business, you know, there's the vertical aspects and then there's the horizontal aspects. And we don't determine what the market is. We let the industry determine what's what's successful and what's happening there, and we just listen to the market and we listen to what's making people money and, and helping people be successful. If it's hosting, then great, we're going to help them be successful in that. Um, if it's VoIP, we're going to help them be successful in that. You know, uh, it's it's more or less that underlying theme of it's IP based or internet internet based services. That's development. You know, it's. Uh, whether or not, I'm not, not, to, not to dance around, uh, you know, the, the hosting con thing, but there, you know, we run into it with any any vertical aspect of what what we cover. You okay. know, in VoIP, there's Vaughn, in uh, you know mobility, there's CTIA, and there's you know WiMAX shows, and there's this show and that show that focuses on little slices of different pieces of the market, mm -hmm. you know, which is great. Um, and I think those things have their place and more power to them. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. It helps, helps the industry conversation continue. So what can we expect from the next ISP con in the fall? The fall show's in Silicon Valley, so you get, you know, what's interesting about this show is we, we did, again, we did this uh, launch pad, uh, which we brought about last fall, uh, where it was brand new companies that just kind of getting started. So, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity for people that are just getting, you know, you hear about these startup cities and so on. It's companies that are just kind of testing the waters in this this market or developing a channel uh, uh, model 
developing their 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 path to have a host or uh, or an ISPB reseller for them. You know, those are great things uh, that in the fall I would imagine we'll see even more of because in California you have you know dozens of companies walking around. Right. And, you know, it's that innovation hotbed there. But it was great to see out here that they were. I mean, we had you know seven, eight, ten companies that came just for that, you know, mm -hmm. to talk about brand new things that they were bringing out in Launchpad uh, and from different, all different markets, too, which is cool. Excellent. Thanks for joining us again, John. It was a pleasure getting to talk to you. Thank you very much. I, I appreciate the opportunity. I'm very, very, very happy to have you guys as a partner and, uh, and supporter of the event and, and involved with everything. And, and you guys do great work. Just keep it up.